thousand mAh battery, okay. and uh, <laughs> you want to check it out? Yeah, I just want. Please zoom in. Okay, that. Where is your mobile? No, I cannot bring my phone here actually. Okay, so SBS call is so okay. <laughs> yeah, we can't bring. Uh, it. Please sit. Uh, okay, okay. Stand there. Yeah, yeah. So, so can we? We don't have a mobile over here, so we can show that uh, all over here. So we can have a video, please, Otha. As this mobile. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so good morning, everyone. Uh, all the respected panel members and the student members, members over here. I am Mayank Soni from River Alaknanda. And my name is Ritwik Reddy. I'm from River Alaknanda. Uh, and uh, our topic is journey of ASUS Zenfone smartphones in India. So, can so we again, my next slide, next slide, yeah. please. Mayank. Next. Contents. Hmm. So we gonna cover all the contents over there. We start from the introduction. So this Asus company is founded in Taipei in 1989 by uh, T H Chung and Taiwan based. It's a Taiwan based multinational computer and phone hardware electronics based company, and it's headquartered in Beitou district of Taipan. Uh, it's Taiwan only, and it's a tagline of in the search of the incredible. Next slide, please. So let's see how the ASUS name came from. Uh, it's basically a, a Greek mythology word. It's a Pegasus, which is a horse. And uh, the pe Pegasus is uh, symbolized for innovation and creativity. So the ASUS word is came from the Pegasus, uh, the last four letters of the Pegasus. Next, please. So how this is how Pegasus looks like. Can we have next slide? Next slide. So yeah. now in the cover of the product line and all the products which is covering in the Asus mobile phones, it's the first one is Zenfone and it's the latest phone as Asus Zenfone 6 z which we shown in the video right now. And Asus Zenfone 5 z is also a flagship sponsorship uh, yeah. uh, mobile. Uh, these Zenfone, these two phones are the flagship phones which uh, uh, Asus introduced in the market. Uh, it's highly priced device. And the second phone is budget phones, uh, Zenfone Max, Zenfone Max Pro M1 and Zenfone Max Pro M2, right? And the second, uh, this one is the cheapest one, uh, Zenfone Lite L1. It's uh, uh, cost round around, uh, around about 5,000 5, rupees. Five 6,000. Right? And uh, uh, the last phone is the uh, most expensive one. It's a Rogue phone. Uh, it's quite popular in the market. Can we have next slide? Yeah, I would like to <coughs> show the light on the uh, Asus Rogue phone. Uh, it's uh, it have 845 Snapdragon pro processor and uh, it, it 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 it's a gaming phone actually. So every every game is a play. Everything is pre-designed in this all. Yeah, okay, take over. It's basically, it's a uh, new and latest of that all in the gaming zone only. So we can play all the latest games like PUBG and all in this. So it's kind of okay. Can we have next? Slide? So now we count on the turnover in the its uh, annual turnover uh, revenue of that 2018. It's uh, quarter wise is in first quarter is 280 crores and second quarter is 310 crores and in quarter three is 270 and at last in quarter four is 300 uh, 300 crores. So next place. 
Yeah, now here are the co competitors for Asus phones. Uh, first, the Xiaomi. When the Asus introduce a, any phone in the market, Xiaomi comes with the uh, new variant of uh, any, any phone and beat the Asus phone. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, uh, actually I know. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Uh, it's because uh, Asus phones are not uh, quite popular uh, when it comes to Xiaomi phones. Xiaomi phones are uh, most popular one in the India right now. And uh, uh, next is uh, Realme. Uh, these phones are uh, like uh, they beat ASOS in budget phones. And uh, these are the competitors. These are the competitors like Huawei, Realme, and Vivo, and Oppo is all bidding in the budget and all the pricing, all that. And the features is also good, so the Asus basically not compete uh, with them. So basically, the Asus right now, right now is in the downfall right now. So the competitors are good from that. Next slide, please. Now we come from the market share over here. Uh, Actually, slide it's, in. Maybe it's a technical mistake. Uh, that one. That one, that, that pink one is Asus, which is 9%. And it's the blank one, it's Oppo, which is 8%. And, and the Vivo is 10%. Samsung have a market share of 23%. And Xiaomi is uh, 27%. And it's the overall market share is of 13 lakh crores. Uh, but basically, it's, looking, so. it's not looking in the side, which we which is pasted over there. But. So the next slide is about the leading the way of the milestone is about the achievements which SS uh, phones and SS company which gains over there. So in 29 years of the tech legacy have there and it's having a 4,511 awards in 2017. And it's uh, basically a four plus rated phones out of five. And it's uh, having a 200 plus service center in all over the India. And now comes about that the, all the rating companies over there is the Fortune who Rates SS uh, world's most admired company for the three years on the 2015, 16, and 18. Uh, according to the Forbes, its SS ranks uh, 26 uh, worldwide for the top uh, regarded companies in 2018. And according to Thomson Reuters, its uh, SS named as the 2018 top 100 global technology leaders. And according to the Interband, at last is uh, Taiwan's most uh, valuable brand for five consecutive years since 2013. Thank you. Now we have the conclusion. Actually, uh, overall performance of ASUS is quite good. But it, when it comes to the smartphones, they cannot perform very well. Uh, but uh, And uh, Xiaomi can uh, beat them every time. Uh, the overall performance is which we concluded over there is not good that good because uh, it's uh, there is uh, so many of competitors over there who beats uh, every time in SS when there when there is so many of uh, like you know market share of all these uh, MI and uh, Samsung and all it's just so big uh, according to the SS so it's kind of a downfall for the SS right now but it's going to be compete with the market with the new technology over there so it's kind of right now it's uh, going to be on the uprise fall so thank you Thank you.